<laughs> Winona Judd has been making her mark on country music for decades, earning five Grammys with her mom, Naomi, as the iconic duo, The Judds. Yeah, now as she grieves her mom's passing, Winona is planning to hit the road one more time. I bet it's not just one more time on The Judds, the final tour, with the help of friends like Martina McBride, Brandi Carlisle, and of course, all and all of the fans. Winona, what did we get so lucky yeah. to have you sitting here with <laughs> us today? It is for us. <laughs> it is for us. It really oh, is. It really is. You know what? There's so many things to love about you, Why? But I think one of them is in this moment, you have room for grief, appreciation, humor. You seem to keep all of the parts of you intact. Mm. I mean, that's what that's what it seems to me. Um, where are you in this moment? Which is leading? I have really good people around me. Yeah. Thank you very much for inviting me. <laughs> Come to my show, the rest, yeah. let's go to lunch. You know, I, when I think about you on the stage, mm -hmm. surrounded by mm -hmm. these fans that mm -hmm. have adored you, that have adored your mom, mm -hmm. it wasn't how you expected it mm -mm. at all. No. And yet it feels like maybe it's mm -hmm. healing you. It is because I get really sad and I get stuck in my own head I'm swimming in the lake of me, and I go out on stage, and I look out, and I see a mother-daughter with mm. the vintage, we don't say old, mm -hmm. vintage T-shirts, and all of a sudden, things are better. Mm. I just feel better. Mm. And I think you have to reach out for help. And the fans are literally helping me through stuff that I, I would have to do on my own, yeah. honestly. And so I feel like they're standing in the gap for me. Mm. You know, they just are, and they're praying for me, and I read their notes, and I just feel loved, and it's the greatest light therapy in the history of mm. mankind. Boy, that is so beautiful. It's true. Can I ask about public grieving? Because mm. part of it is exactly how you describe, which is somebody's always there. But there's also a point I would imagine that you never get a moment where you're not thinking about it, because just even in the crowd today, yeah. People want, they want to tell you that they're, that they're sorry, that they feel your pain. Do you, what do you do when you need your time and space? That is an interesting question. I don't know how to answer. Hmm. All I can tell you is that I'm pretty naive still. I still have a curiosity. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's because I'm naive that I assume the best. I really do. I mean, I have my moments of, well, that's a load of crap. <laughs> <laughs> but every now and then I go, you know what? I believe you. And I think the fans are genuine. Oh, they're, they are, They're yeah. sort of the, the people that you need in your life that tell you the truth. Mm. And sometimes it's not your favorite thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know you can trust them. And I trust them and they trust mm -hmm. me. Feel it. That's yeah. the truth. And I think they really do mean what they say. Yeah. Oh, and I sure. think also so many people lose somebody and, and then in a few weeks mm -hmm. they're forgotten. They you have to go back to work. You get to hear all the beautiful things about this Everybody's person. Everybody's got a story. So much Everybody's got a story. And just when you think that your hell is bigger than someone else's, mm. think again, because someone yeah. else has a story. So You know what else you have is the music. Mm. And there's you got to perform with your mom at mm. the CMT Awards. What does it feel like to have mm. that? What did it feel like it's to have It's strange. That? It's really strange. That's the part that's weird, because that's the last time I saw her. And the last thing I said to her was, I love you, which I'm grateful for that, because that hasn't always been the case. <laughs> uh, and I'm looking at that thinking it was not supposed to end that way. Hmm. And it did. And what am I going to do? I've got a granddaughter, and I'll tell her good, the good stuff, because after someone dies, you start to remember the good. Yeah. You just do, mm -hmm. right? You start to forgive and say... Okay, I can let that go because it's just different now. Mm -hmm. And I wake up every day and the, the glass is half full. Mm -hmm. And I used to sometimes have that day you wake up and the glass is half empty and all that. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just more grateful mm -hmm. because I know it goes by so freaking fast. And it's going faster, isn't it? Well, yeah. I just feel like your honesty and you and your mom's honesty. I remember your mom saying in an interview. <laughs> it's refreshing, yeah. isn't it? Well, it is. <laughs> she used to say, if I knew better, I would have done yeah, better. Like all those yeah. things. But, I mean, that's the that's Give the yourself a break. Give yourself a break. That's what I would tell people. If I had something to tell people, I would say, give yourself a break today because we're doing the best we can with what we have. Totally. Amen. Don't you think? Yes. Amen. Oh, my gosh. Right. Can you just sit here all day?